Good morning, it's Coach Mike here again with Coach Clara from the Smash Performance Academy to demonstrate some stability ball uh, exercise, primarily with balance. We're gonna have another video where we're gonna do some core exercises, but this one's just about balance. Um, don't forget to subscribe and watch some of the other content on the channel. We cover athletic development, speed and agility, strength and conditioning, and more, uh, mainly for youth athletes. Okay, so Clara's sitting on a stability ball. Um, that one's a tiny little bit flat. She pumped it up last night, but it's sort of uh, either stretched or, or gone down. Um, I recommend you do these on a medium to large ball. The small one gets pretty hard, and if you're good, well, hey, go for the small ball. But um, the larger the ball, the easier these things are. So we're just gonna cover um, the three uh, main balance drills on this. First of all is seated. So Clara is just going to roll back a little bit, take her feet off the ground, and all she's doing is balancing. Now you can do this for about 30 to 60 seconds and, and you'll find it really switches the core on and um, gets, you, gets you going there. Okay, so you can also, Clara's got her heels against the ball, you can actually just kick your feet forwards. Okay, now, once you get a bit better, you can perturb or wobble the ball sideways, side to side. And the aim is obviously to not let anything touch the ground. You can go backwards and forwards. And it's just a skill you gotta learn, just like riding a bike. Okay, you gotta learn how to keep your feet off the ground and just belts. Okay, so you can do, once you've, once you've got that, you can try go around in, in little circles, which is a bit of a harder drill. And once you've got that, we'll show you some other stuff here. So I'm just gonna pick up a light ball. This is a lead ball, one kilo. So Clara's gonna have her feet off the ground, get ready, and I'm just gonna throw and and she's gonna throw it, okay? Pretty straightforward. Now she's gonna catch it and lift it above her head and throw it back. Okay, we can also juggle. So we're just aiming to make the balance skill automatic um, and concentrate on other stuff. And after a bit of practice, you get pretty good at that, okay? So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the next, the next progression from this is um, hands and knees. So you go to the back of the ball, right? Have your hands and knees on, and then you simply roll the ball forwards until you reach the neutral balance point. And this is where it gets uh, a little bit harder on small balls. Okay, seat is not that bad, all right. I'm not sure what the suggested inflation pressure is, but if you go too big, they'll blow up or stretch. So um, wanna be a little bit careful about when, when you're pumping them up. So they should be pretty tight to touch, but not like loose. Okay, so Clara's balancing on her hands and knees. Okay, so again, you should, to get better, perturb it a little bit and feel where your neutral point is. If you feel like you're falling forward or backward all the time, um, you need to move forward or back. <coughs> a lot of people find it hard to commit at this stage and they tend to have their weight backwards. So you really wanna try and force it forwards a little bit. Okay, so she's, jiggling it backwards and forwards, and she can go sideways as well. It's pretty good effort for only practicing for one day, because <laughs> it is a skill. Um, you'll find that young kids, particularly boys, just don't get this, so they can't, they can only do anything. <laughs> okay, so you get 10 to 12 year old boys, um, they really have no idea about core and, and balance, and particularly fine, really fine motor skills. G girls, are much better, generally. Okay, so Clara's in her 20s, so she's got this down pat. Okay, so she's going sideways. Uh, the next step up is to go around in circles and 
circles is quite a bit harder than backwards and forwards. Okay, um, a more advanced skill is to sort of walk it, walk it backwards. Okay, so you sort of, that's it. Looks pretty ungainly, but but there, and then and then try and walk it forwards. Forwards is harder than backwards. Okay, so I'd go backwards first, as you'll see. It's 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 hard to get the weight shift when you go when you go <laughs> forwards. Okay, it is it is harder. Right, obviously you can't do any juggling and and uh, other stuff. Um, but that's a that's a good progression and quite a bit harder than just uh, sitting on the ball. Okay, the next one up is okay. So this one uh, requires a bit of nerve almost. So you've got to roll forward again until you're kneeling. Okay, and then you take your hands off and you sort of kneeling body upright. So okay, this is this is a fair bit harder and you know, your weight is higher above the ball and, and you're inherently less stable. Okay, quite a progression to go from seated with the hands and feet up to kneeling. And then again, left and right, backwards and forwards a little bit. You probably could walk, but I've never done it, so we won't, <laughs> we won't, we won't try. Uh, it's good to have your hands out for balance because they will actually help you coordinate, but sort of whatever works, all right? And that's a, that's quite a good hard progression. So one, once Clara's up again, we'll show you some other progressions. Once you're up there, you can also go down, uh, put your bum on your heels, and then come up again, which will require you to roll forwards and backwards and ch change your weight distribution a little bit. Okay, she did it once more. She saved it, okay. So, medicine ball. Say when? Yeah. Okay. Obviously you need two people for that. You can juggle them yourself if you have to put them in your pocket or something. So here we've got a so here we've got a fine motor skill. And which you really need to concentrate on. And if you really can, you can probably juggle. <laughs> okay, but that's that's another whole level. Okay, so that's just our balance series there. Okay, eight minutes of of stuff on a stability ball, and um, if you're training a group and stuff, well, obviously you've got a whole pile of them. Unfortunately, they take, they take up a lot of space. Um, we just got one here and, and one person. I tend to do only this. I tend to only do this with small groups because if you've got a whole pile of young kids with balls, it's it can be a bit of a shambles and a mess. So, you know, mid teens, 13, 14, 15, and older is uh, better. But, it, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's a good variation, okay? As, as you probably noticed from all of the videos, I like doing a, a, quite a mix and a range of, of things. Sometimes I'll uh, surprise the squad and, and we'll do something completely weird and then unusual. And look, just keeps them guessing and interested and training is uh, never the same. Uh, day to day and week to week. Certainly have uh, progressions and I tend to do more fun stuff in the pre-season. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.